All right, well, here's a longer video. And I read a lot of comments from my last one that I really appreciate. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to make that input and tell me that you wanted to see longer videos. I can't do like ex every single piece because it would just take years and years for me to build this thing and do the editing as well uh, and setting up the camera and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so this is a slightly longer video. Uh, I'll start at the front of the plane in a fuselage and show you what I'm working on as of late. Um, I'm working on the front passenger seat and I had a beautiful uh, V cut into the opening here as per the plans and these diagonals kind of like in the plans they come down to meet at the base there. The problem is because they come in and meet and the clearance is needed for the top torque tube for the front pilot's pitch and the, this torque tube, those two pieces coming together didn't leave some clearance for this to sink down low enough and everything to fit the way I felt it should fit. So what I did was I notched out that V and turned it into a semicircle for uh, the torque tube. And the way I did that was I used a little bit of that guy right there, the, um, the good old ex-wife, because, you know, that's what it sounds like. And then I used um, the actual torque tube itself with a piece of 80 grit sandpaper. Slid over the end, and it is literally just a matter of getting enough material away, putting it in here, and sliding it in and out uh, until enough material is removed, and then it fits fantastically. So everything seems to work well. Here, let me put that back. This back here, and the torque tube. And then it, fits, it sits as low as it possibly can above the ash, that piece there. Okay, then this piece goes, the rudder bar is gonna go over here. It worked out pretty good, the, the geometry. Um, next, last night actually, it, it took me six hours and I cut all the pieces for the front passenger seat framing. Now, um, I'm departing the plans a little bit and not in a bad way. Um, this piece is here, that's per the plans. I added a gusset here on the outside. This gives me a little more real estate this way. And my idea is this. Um, I'm not a fan of the, um, the butt joint framing of, of that seat and then just the gusset on top so i wanted the um the seat where is it here oh excuse me up here um i wanted uh, these pieces to sit on uh something instead of just a butt joint and so my, what I did was I cut these pieces that are going to go here. And this piece is going to go here. Okay, it's going to sit flush up against that side. And then for the back piece, I notched it, I, I cut this uh, out. So this is like going to go over this and sit nicely on that piece there. So now, any pressure this way, it's sitting on these diagonals plus these verticals. I'm very cautious of this, in this regard. I, I did something similar in the back and I'll get to that eventually. I'm very concerned about this seat and the back seat, both seats, yeah. <laughs> because if there's any failure at all, this is the flight control system right here. 
And underneath here is the flight control system. If there's any failure at all in these joints, and, and you, a 200 pound person goes crashing through, it's game over. Um, so I'm just beefing it up a little bit, a little bit different design. Yeah, I know that this isn't gonna affect safety at all. It's gonna, it's gonna make me sleep better at night and um, it's still gonna be safe. So these pieces were cut, they go there. And then we know that the gusset goes diagonally from here up straight across and down. And then uh, I have this piece here, which I nailed temporarily a gusset on the bottom, which I will do permanently as well, a bigger one for the center piece that's gonna go there. All right, so this piece comes back here, sits there, and will be put like that. And then you have these two pieces here, which will come here like that. There, there, and that'll get flush and I may put a small gusset there, diagonal gusset when it's all said and done. And then we'll come over here to this side and we'll put that piece in here. So now this whole seat, with the exception of this one little point, which I'll put a gusset underneath, this whole entire seat frame sits on some vertical supports here, there, there, even there, because it's cut, it's cut in, and there. I'll just see top, and then the gusset on the front face. Um, I may put a very small diagonal gusset there, who knows? Maybe one there. The, um, the rear seat, something similar. So the, the plans do not call for these vertical pieces here, but again, I'm 210 pounds, and the plan just called for a regular uh, butt joint right there, which I wasn't too happy with. And not that I'm saying it's a bad design, it's just because the hundreds of these things have been built. I'm an amateur plane builder. This is my first airplane. I have built a sailboat, um, but this did not, I, did, I can't sleep at night with this. So this piece here is one piece that comes up like an arch and comes, so this piece is sitting on top, okay? It's going nowhere. Um, I have these little filler blocks in the back too. So the back of the seat is sitting on top of this and not just the seat back, like per the plans. Um, and we all know this side gets completely gusseted, so that's good. So again, the torque tube comes and terminates here. Without these here, me sitting there, if anything should fail, it's, it's game over. I'm gonna land, I'm gonna land on the torque tube, the, the terminating end of that torque tube, and the cables that run uh, to the back to control uh, pitch. Um, there, that's the front seat. The back seat, I cut out the slots for the seatbelt harness straps the other day. Um, this uh, former here for the turtle deck, I've cut those. I've been working on those. Uh, what I did was I actually uh, started in the back. This was the easiest piece to cut and fit. That comes out, the front face of this will be glued in there and then attaches to the cross member there. Now this is the long fuselage, so the leading edge does not come up to uh, butt up against this because this cross member is in, is in a different place on the leading edge. So the, the farthest aft I could get this piece was on the back side of the cross member and the leading edge comes up uh, to this, this pencil line here. This is just for spacing. I'll bring the stringers in uh, terminate them and then I'll take a piece of um, balsa block and I'll cut a piece in here shape and cut a piece in there 
uh, varnish it, uh, you know, seal it, glue it in there, and then the horizontal stab will come in and fit in there perfectly and will be screwed down there. Um, let's see, what else? What else? What else? What else can I talk about? Um, these I'm going to hollow out for weight. They don't need it. Um, I'll also clamshell uh, the arches between the stringers when I'm said and done on all these formers. Clamshell, you know, so that when the fabric shrinks, it's not riding on this edge. It's just riding on the stringers. Um, this is not the piece that I'm using. It's just a temporary piece for, for sizing. Um, this represents the, actually this represents the face of the mahogany plywood that I'm going to use and then uh, which will be an eighth of an inch and then on the back side of it will be the actual uh, probably use like three sixteenths inch ply or quarter inch a little beefier that's going to be notched out so the front of this will just be a nice flat surface except for these little cutouts you won't see this at all these um, another piece will be a frame will be behind this doubling it up um, and then I'll have a sheet of uh, plywood that will be clamshelled and will go stretch over from top to bottom. This kind of represents the skin of the fuselage on the side and the filler material uh, there. Really good. God, 12 minutes long already. Uh, you guys asked for it. I hope this is worth it. Um, what else can I talk about? If you guys want to see anything... Ask me a question in the comments or make a comment about something that you see is like, like, what the hell are you thinking? <laughs> like, if you're a peat and pole builder already. Um, and, but I'm following the plans as closely as I can. And I'm making what I believe are uh, improvements on safety uh, where I, so I can sleep a little bit better at night. And just regarding those seats, I didn't, I didn't. I changed the plan design up a little bit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for watching this long.